Welcome to Switzer Cardi Training. Why must we perform a thorough pre-trip inspection? The pre-trip inspection assesses the vehicle's roadworthiness. The trip inspection requirements place a degree of responsibility for vehicle safety on the vehicle's drivers. As our driver, you are expected to determine the severity of defects according to Schedule 5 of the logbook. If a major defect is found, you won't drive the bus, but you will report and record the defect. You'll perform a pre-trip inspection once every 24 hours, or if you've been assigned another bus, another pre-trip must be performed. Let's take a look at how we do that. As we're approaching the bus, we're checking for leaks and we're checking for leans. If the bus is leaning to one side or the other, that could indicate that one of the tires is flat or there's something broken. No leaks and no leans. Now we're gonna go inside the bus. We're gonna check our logbook. Why do we have to check our logbook? Because if there is a defect, we have to make sure it's signed off by a mechanic before we even continue our pre-trip. And I'm going to check the electronic hydraulic assist brake motor. The growl is there. And we're ready to check underneath the hood. We're going to check our windshield wipers now to make sure that the windshield wiper is not stuck to the windshield and the hoses are attached. We're going to start from the top and make our way down. Looking at the master cylinder, cap is on, no leaks. We're also looking at our power steering fluid. Again, cap is on, no leaks, and it's at an amazing level. Looking at our wires to make sure that they're not frayed and they're intact. We come down and we're looking at the transmission dipstick. We don't take out the dipstick, we're just looking to make sure that it's there. Our hoses are pliable, no cracks. Our steering column doesn't have a lot of give, not a lot of play, which is good. Our wires are intact, no frays. We're also going to look at the fan, make sure all the blades are there and that it moves freely. There is a serpentine belt and we're seeing also that it is there, it's not frayed or cracked. We're going to check our oil. First we're going to clean it off. We're going to put the dipstick back in. Pull it out and we are nice and full. The brake lines are not frayed and they're in good condition. The inside of the tire, again, no lumps, bumps or cracks. No fluid in the wheel well. And we have three cotter pins on this side. One, two and three. And also that the leaf spring is not broken and it's smiling at us. It's in a nice curve. And the U-bolts are secure. Our shock is in good condition. It's not rusted out. Again, no leaks. We're also making sure that the wires to the headlights are secure and not frayed. Also that the, um, the hood wires are nice and secure. As we come onto this side of the engine, we're going to take a look at the windshield wipers and make sure that they are free. In the winter, they can get stuck with ice. We're looking at the coolant reservoir making sure the cap is on, no leaks, and the fluid is at a very good level. Coming over here, looking at the air breather, making sure there's nothing inside. Our serpentine belt on this side is secure, not frayed. The alternator is secure and in good condition. We're also looking to see if there's any leaks from anything shiny or dripping from anywhere on the engine. Here we're looking to make sure that our windshield wiper fluid is nice and topped up. Looking at our brake lines, making sure they're not frayed and that they're nice and attached. And on this side, one cotter pin at the bottom. Checking this tire as well, looking for any bulges in the tire or any bends in the rim. Then we close the engine. We're going to turn on our stop arm crossing gate. Our high beams are on. Our right signal light is flashing. We grab the thumper. Starting from the top of the bus, I see our clearance lights are functioning and on. Our windows are all clear, no cracks, very clean. Our rug rails are in very good condition. And our right turn signal is on. We also see this little door here. 
which contains our death fluid reservoir, we're making sure that the cap is on and there isn't any leaks. We're making our way down, looking at the exhaust pipe. Clamps are secure on the exhaust pipe, no leaks. Also focusing on the back rear dualies on the driver's side, making sure there isn't any lumps, bumps, or cracks on the inside tire. Also, no fluid in the wheel well. Also focusing on the deferential. Again, no leaks. Deferential is secure. Now we're gonna make our way back to our rear dualies, our tires. First of all, we're gonna make sure our tread depth is at least one eighth of an inch, which it is. We're also looking at our leaf springs. There should be six on each side and the clamp should be secure. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six on the other side. Again, no lumps or bumps or cracks on the tire. Looks good. Looking at the hub, hub is in great condition. No fluid in the hub. And all our lug nuts, we're gonna look at each individual one. It's a good thing just to kind of touch them so our eyes go to the lug nut, making sure there isn't any silvering, because silvering could indicate a lug nut could be loose, which we don't want. Also inspecting our valve stem and the valve stem cover, which is secure. Valve stem and valve stem cover on the other tire is there and secure. Checking our tire pressure with our thumper. Nice sound, nice bounce, good air pressure. Also checking our rear mud flap, making sure that's secure, we need those. Our fuel tank is very important. We're gonna open up the door. Again, the, the cap is very tight and secure, and again, no leaks, very important. The back of the bus, we're starting from the top and working our way down again. Seeing that our back clearance lights, one, two, three, are shining bright making sure that the school bus insignia, emergency door, and you could read it clearly, the outside schooler lights are flashing. We're looking to make sure all the windows are not cracked and they're visible, and also the sign, any warning signs, make sure the running lights are on. The license plate is in good condition, and the license plate light is on. We're gonna make our way all the way down and look at the fuel tank. Again, it's secure, no leaks. We're gonna open up the back of the bus, the emergency back door. We're gonna make sure that this door stays open just in case we have to do an evacuation. Also, we're gonna take a look at the floor, making sure that everything is clear, no leaks where our heaters are. That can indicate a coolant leak. We also wanna make sure our triangles are here in the back of the bus. Before we close the door, make sure the seal is in good condition. That seal should be in very good condition because we don't want the exhaust going inside the bus. Now we're gonna go to uh, the driver's side of the bus. Again, starting from the top, our clearance lights are functioning and they're on. All our signage is in good condition. Our windows are, again, once clear and clean. The rub rails are in good condition. Our marker light is on. We're going to take a little peek at the exhaust on this end. Clamps are secure, no leaks again. Making our way to our back dualies. Looking at the tire, we're looking inside and we're looking at the lug nuts, making sure that there's no silvering and making sure they are nice and tight, checking each and every one. We're looking at this, the air stem and the cap of the outside tire and then looking at the air stem and the cap of the inside tire. Making sure the tread is nice and thick and not worn down. And looking at the outside of the tire, making sure there are no cracks. And at the bottom, it's not bulging, which would indicate a leak. Looking at the rim all the way around, making sure it's not bent. We're gonna make our way to the center of the bus, going all the way down. I see my drive shaft, it should have four hangers. One, two, three, and four. Again, no leaks. Deferential is in good condition, no leaks. We're also gonna look at the, the inside of the dually on the passenger side, on the other side. Again, no lumps, bumps, or cracks. 
no fluid in the wheel well. We're also gonna make our way down to the transmission and making sure that there isn't any leaks. No leaks. This little valve here, we call it the preheater valve. We just wanna make sure it's not dangling. And especially in the winter time, we don't wanna to go too close to it because it could turn on at any second. A lot of hot steam comes out of that. Our stop arm is functioning, lights are flashing. We're also going to listen to the motor, making sure it's a very healthy motor. We're gonna just press on it this way, and that's a good healthy motor. This is our electrical panel. This door should always be closed. We're not gonna check inside the panel. We're just gonna make sure it's closed, and our battery door is closed. We are looking again at the, the mirrors. The flat mirror and the convex mirror are both there and not cracked and that the wires to defrost them are there. Now we're going to check our tire, our front tire at the front of the bus on the driver's side. Now it doesn't have to be one eighth of an inch on this side, it can, on the front tire. It can, it can be one sixteenth of an inch, which it is. Again, no lumps, bumps or crack. The hub is in good condition and there's no leaking in the hub. Also our lug nuts, again, we're looking at each individual lug nut to make sure there isn't any silvering, because again, that could indicate a loose lug nut. Valve stem is on, cap is secure. We're gonna check our crossover mirrors, nice and secure, they can become loose, and the wires are attached. We're gonna ma make our way to the front of the bus. Again, starting from the very, very top, the antennas. We have the radio that we communicate with the dispatcher on, which is the silver, the silver antenna. We have the black antenna, which is our FM AM radio. That's on the bus and our GPS. That little white mushroom is on the bus. Again, starting with the clearance lights. Clearance lights are all functioning. The school sign is on, signage is on the bus. Our schoolers are functioning. The window is clear, no chips, no cracks. Our hood is nice and clear. Our radiator, there's no leaks. The grill is in good condition. Our bumper's in good condition. And this is very important. We're gonna look at the license plate. Make sure that license plate is valid June 2018. We're good to go. We're gonna check our paperwork with that later. We're looking for running leaks, no leaks. Our high beams are on. Our right signal light is flashing. We're going to listen to make sure the motor for the crossing arm is nice and loud and it works. And make sure that the crossing gate swings back out. Looking to see that the mirrors are attached. The top and bottom mirror are intact, they're not shattered. That the, the wires to defrost the mirrors is attached. The mud flap is attached and I come down and I'm checking all the lug nuts. I am visually looking for any silvering that indicates that a lug nut has come loose. I'm also grasping each lug nut and turning to make sure that it's not loose. I'm looking to make sure the tread is nice and thick. I'm looking to make sure that the wheel or the tire is not cracked. The hub is in good condition and there's no leaking. We're gonna check the doors, making sure that the seal is in good condition and there is any condensation between the panes of glass here. Our door light is on and functioning. Okay, now we're gonna check our stairs to make sure there isn't any rust. The stairs are nice and solid. Our handrail is solid and secure and our stairwell light is on. Putting our thumper away, we're going to check the fire extinguisher. We're checking the tag to make sure that it has been checked the month that we're in and the year. So May 2018, there it's been initialed. So this has been checked. We're also going to check that the yellow needle is at the full section on the dial of the fire extinguisher, which it is. This fire extinguisher is safe. We're looking to make sure we have our first aid kit, our seatbelt cutter as well. Okay, so we're gonna shut our doors. We're gonna activate our inside schoolers by turning on our warning lights. We can see our warning lights with our crossover mirrors. 
and there they are functioning. We also can see our left turn signal in the crossover mirror at the front of the bus working and we're going to use our side mirrors to check the left turn signal on the side of the bus is also working. We're going to check our brakes. We're going to make sure that all the seats are attached, nothing is loose or coming off. We do this by pulling up on each seat as we make our way down the aisle. We're going to open up the back door, make sure our seal is in good condition. We don't want any exhaust coming into our bus. Our inside schoolers are working, our brake lights are on, and our left turn signal is on. Now, as we make our way to the front of the bus, we're going to check the top of the seats, make sure they're nice and secure, and making sure that our emergency exit windows open freely, and we hear that buzzer. Opens freely, we hear the buzzer. Checking the tops of the seats. We're gonna check the roof hatch. I'm short, so I need to get up on the seats. Disengage it all the way. And then put it back together. Perfect. Again, checking the seats. And the emer emergency window exits. Buzzer. And the window opens freely. The buzzer and the window opens freely. We're gonna make sure our driver's window opens freely. We need to make sure that opens freely, especially at railroad crossings. We'll just keep it open for now. We can listen to our fans. Those are all working. Our personal fan is functioning. Our noise suppression button is functioning. So parking brake is on. We're looking to make sure that our bus is nice and cool. The indicator is showing us that we're at cool. This is our speedometer. This tank is at full. We're looking at our RPMs. It's sitting nicely below 1,000 because we're not going anywhere. And our oil pressure is between zero and 50. We're looking at our DEF level is at a good level, so above 20% and our dome lights. So, through the back of the bus. We're gonna do a radio check. Can I get a radio check, please? Good afternoon, guys. Radio check loud and clear for And windshield wipers are functioning with fluids coming out of the reservoirs. Our horn is functioning for communication on, our, on the road. Now we're going to be checking our emergency brake. Brake is on. We're going to put our foot on the brake first, put the bus in drive, and we're going to rev this bus to about 1,000 RPMs. This bus should not move, and it doesn't, which means this brake is working well. Now we're going to check our running brakes. We're going to move forward and depress our hydraulic brakes. and the bus stops. Perfect. Both brakes are checked. Now we're looking for our paperwork. We're making sure that we have a valid CBOR 2018 September 06. Valid. We also make sure that we have a valid insurance, which we do July 1st, 2017 to July 1st, 2018. And here are our inspection stickers that I indicated outside on the window. These numbers should match each inspection stickers on the bus. Should be signed by two mechanics, which it is. And this is our ownership. Ownership should indicate the vehicle identification number, which is on the bus as well. And there's our number here. And if we turn this around, our plates are valid as well. And that number should be on the plates. So all our documents are up to date. 
And just before we're ready to roll, we're gonna make sure we sign, date, and write the time that we did the inspection, making sure that there's no defects and we're ready to roll. Close the doors. 